I want to talk to you for a moment about how you ladies can win your man and perhaps win back your man. The top five ways, there are more, could be more, but the top five ways that I know of that you definitely can win your man. Win his love, his passion, his attention, his sensuality, his concern, empathy, and sympathy towards you. Top five things from Brother Teacher. So that I don't forget, I have my trusty card here. Number one, spend more time, more quality time with your man. It doesn't have to be anything elaborate. The old traditional going out to dinner and the movies and that type of thing. You could do that, of course. But there's nothing more important than just simply spending time no matter how you spend time you can sit and you can just have a talk you can sit you can go through family photos you can sit and you can watch a nice program on television listen to some music together you can do things like that you can go for a walk together. You can exercise together. You can do anything together, but you make sure that you spend some quality time away from all of the other hustle and bustle, uh, chores in the house and going to work and dealing with the children and things like this. Spend some time with one another, ladies. Number two, stop trying to be right all of the time when you and your man have a conversation or even a disagreement. It doesn't matter who's right. The most important thing is to make sure that you communicate and that it is indeed dialogue. And with that, I'm going to add number three. As your man is speaking to you, when he's in the conversation with you, that's dialogue back and forth, right? Stop talking over him while he's talking. Let him say what he has to say as well. You don't have to be domineering and control the conversation. When you say what you have to say be quiet and let him say what he has to say or wants to say and once he finishes you speak again if you deem it to be necessary this is communication and consideration at the same time that's three number four this is a big one if you're upset with your man your husband your boo your partner don't deny them sex because you're mad at them angry with them that is counterproductive. You're going to make the situation even worse and maybe even have him desire another woman or seek someone else. So don't set yourself up for failure by denying your man sex. I don't care how angry you are with him. You should never try to punish him, especially in that way. Okay. And number five, stop bringing up the past. What's happened with him if he made a mistake in the past or if something he did that you didn't like in the past and something that you all just never really got over. If it's not going to benefit today, leave it alone. Okay? I know that you can have a successful relationship, ladies. But you know what? It takes some effort on your part. It is two of you all that got together in a relationship in the first place and it's going to take two of you all to fix it now everything that I just said to you I'm also saying to the men even though the caption or the title of this video is all about you ladies but it's not solely you this applies to men as well so don't think that I'm being prejudiced don't think that I'm being biased I'm only picking on ladies I'm not picking on anyone I'm just telling you from my own personal experience Learn to communicate properly. Learn to respect your partner on either side. Okay? Learn to consider what it is that they're trying to impress upon you and the message that they're trying to convey to you. And understand that it's two of you and it's not going to be one sided. What I say is the gospel and what you say don't matter. Both people matter in a relationship, not just one. Ladies, I hope this was of some value to you. Comment section below. Let me know how you feel, what you think, 
if you've gone through anything similar to this or if this is the type of person that you are and I hope you stop if it is this brother teacher out so long